we are going to give away an extra one of these systems. Driving an RV can be scary and actually dangerous, but we've got a product today that might help in both categories. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We are going outside of the gaming and tech space and entering boldly into the RV, the recreational vehicle, camper, trailer, towing space. Now that might seem weird to some of you guys, but there's a lot of really cool, exciting tech in that space and we're going to explore one of those pieces of tech in this video today but before we get on to what's inside this box it's story time and most of you guys love the stories some of you guys do not those of you who do not like the stories there is a skip bar along the bottom of this video just skip ahead a couple minutes and you'll skip the fluffy story and get straight to what's inside this box those of you who like the story here's the deal you see, we purchased a camper trailer recently for fun, really. But like most things that we own, I don't like just buying stuff and having it sit there. So when we're not using it, we're looking to rent it out through apps such as RV Easy up here in Canada or Outdoorsy for my friends in the United States. And that can be a really great way to offset some of the cost of owning that camper. But there's one super stressful situation and that is, in our case, it's a bumper pull unit. That means somebody comes with their SUV or their truck and they hook up to your trailer and they tow it to the campsite where they're headed. And not everyone is good at towing, even people who do tow a lot tend to get really stressed out over just kind of where the trailer is and a lot of people aren't really equipped for it they don't have the right hitch they don't have like airbags they don't even have the extendable mirrors so it can be one of those things where if you only do it a couple times a year you don't want to spend all the money on all that stuff but before we get too far into this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below if you've seen some of our content already and have not subscribed we want you to join Join our community, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get back to the video. But the newer trailers come pre-equipped with the ability to add a backup camera to the back of the trailer very, very easily. So that got me wondering what is available for backup cameras for trailers out there on the market. Now, the place that we bought the trailer from, they said, we encourage you to buy the one through our parts dealer because we have the best one and it's gonna be the simplest installation and all of that. And he specifically said, there's a lot on Amazon but they're not very good. And that kind of set off my radar a little bit and said, is that one at the RV dealer really gonna be any different and or any better than the one that's available on Amazon? So of course, I decided it was time to look on Amazon. And I came across one, the seller is Vunoa. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what the seller was. Now I reached out to them and I said, hey, I've got this little YouTube channel. We explore really exciting technology. I wonder if we could get a couple of these units to demo and to share with our audience. And they politely obliged with not one, but two. And that's why you see two boxes here. Because at some point in this video series, we are going to give away an extra one of these systems. You don't even know how cool it is because we haven't even done the unboxing yet. So we're gonna jump right into that. But just know that if you want to win, the extra one of these. I will provide details in this video for how to win and in a future video somebody will get a free one of these systems. So I'm going to take one and I'm going to put it ugh, right over there out of the way. Then we can do the unboxing here and then explore kind of what's in this thing and potentially we will do a full hookup and installation but that's going to be a totally different video because it's going to be quite exhaustive to do all that, but I will walk you through exactly how we installed this and we'll see how it actually works. But for now, I wanna just see what's included, feel the build quality, and potentially try to turn this on if I can power it up inside the studio here. So, now this product was provided by the folks at Vunua, Vunoa, Vunoa, Vunoa? I'll get it right eventually, but they were surprisingly very silent on any expectations. So I have the ability to provide my honest feedback here and tell you exactly what I think about this. I did look at a lot of different products in this space and this was the one that I settled on and I will explain why after 
we get through the unboxing. So for those of you who skipped ahead, welcome back. We are on to the part that you care about. For those of you who stuck around for the story, thanks for listening to my fun stories. Now, the packaging is a really discreet cardboard box. There's, in fact, when it showed up, I wasn't totally sure what it was. I had forgotten that I ordered it and I went on holidays and I came back and it was at the doorstep. And the only thing that gives you any indication is right here. And that says 1080p wireless camera system. So then I was like, okay, I know what this is. And then I got really excited. I wanted to see it so badly, but I wanted to wait until I could show you guys at the same time. So here we are with the first unboxing. The first thing we find is the actual TV unit itself. I'm experiencing this for the very first time. So it has a power cord that you will plug in to turn on. That's going to be 12 volt. I might be able to power this up with one of my old router cords, potentially. It has two antenna spots on the back. This is a wireless system. They do make wired systems as well, but I wanted wireless because I just wanted the simplest install possible. It does have an SD card slot on the side here, and it does have a warning that says SD card slot. Insert the memory card in this direction. Please check the online manual and contact us if you need a 128 gigabyte memory card or have any questions. Why 128 gigabytes? Well, you're gonna be recording a lot of channels of video and the bigger the card, the better. Now this is a true SD card, so it's not a micro SD card, it's a true full-size SD card. Fortunately, I have plenty of SD cards back there and I have those little adapters that will convert a micro SD to an SD, so it shouldn't be a problem. On the sides, it does have bolt holes for the mount, presumably, and one in the bottom as well for a mount. So we'll explore kind of all the mounts and everything as we go. So that's the first box. Let's just start with this guy because that's the next. Oh, that's that's not interesting at all. This. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, what the heck. Might as well explore this first before we get to the rest. So this is the mount that I was just telling you guys about. So this will mount on here with some thumb screws and then presumably you're gonna screw this to your dash. Now I don't want to screw this to my dash, so hopefully there's a few other options here. Oh, here we go, okay. And there is one such option right now. This is still screwed to the dash, but there is some sticky pads so that you can go like this and stick it on your dash and then this will mount through that bottom screw like that to the dash, which is a little bit cleaner install. There's a ton of different sticky pads that come with it for all of that mounting and then all of this. Now this is not quite anything exciting. So it comes with a direct hardline cable adapter that you can plug in and then hardwire it in. It also comes, I saw this guy on here, a cigarette adapter which is the one that I'm gonna likely use because that will allow you to use a less permanent install. It does have an on off button here as well, which is really nice. So these are all adapters that are presumably gonna be for the cameras that you guys haven't seen yet. And then we've got all these antennas, which again will be for the cameras that you haven't seen yet. But two of these will go on the back of this guy like this. Now these are gonna be important because uh, it's a full wireless connection and you want to make sure that you've got a good strong signal to all of your cameras. But I loved the idea of being wireless because it just makes it so much easier. Nobody wants to try to run wires through their trailer. Now these adapters, coincidentally enough, they allow us to go like this plug in the cigarette plug, and then this gives me, it should be five, one, two, three, four, five. And then that allows me to plug in this, and also I can plug this directly into all of the cameras as well. So we should be able to do a bench test here, as long as I can get us a 12 volt adapter that has enough power. So I'm excited about that. These are the thumb screws that we're gonna use to attach it to all the mounting hardware. And then we've got a lot of screws for attaching cameras, more pads. It does come with a screwdriver, which is handy. More screws. And then this guy, which is actually pretty cool because this will 
clip onto here and it's a sun shield. Now, you don't know how much you want a sun shield until you need a sun shield. Now, the reason you're gonna want this sun shield is when this is on your dash and the sun's coming through your dash, you're not gonna be able to see this very well and this sun shield will help immensely. It can go in any orientation, which is nice. We're gonna put it upside down as it just stands right there. And then we have two of these adapters which is surprising. I don't know why I would need two, but I have two. Now we get on to, ah, oh, look there. I should have done this first. This has the instructions, which tells me how to hook this whole thing up. And even tells you everything that you've got in this. So if you're curious about anything, the instructions are full color. It does have all of the details of how to hook it up and how to troubleshoot it. I'm not going to read these instructions. And if you're one of those people who need to read instructions, that's fine, you can read these. But keep in mind, in a different video, I walk you through the install of this system. So you could always use the instructions and watch that other video to see exactly how we installed this on our brand new camper trailer. And then inside here, we've just got four cameras. Now I'm expecting two of them to be a certain style and then two of them to be a different style. So I'm gonna check these out. Now the first thing I can tell you, this is heavy. I was expecting a cheap plastic camera, but this is, it's like metal. This is, this is metal construction. So Right now, the cord is coming out the backside here. And depending on how I mount this, that makes sense. But it's also got this tiny little hole in the bottom here. And this base will come off somehow so that I can install it more permanently and then have this cord actually go through that hole in the bottom so that you have a very clean, discreet look. It does have an antenna on the back, which is not going to be discreet. That antenna is going to be visible from wherever you mount this thing. But again, this is wireless, so of course you need an antenna. Now that is one style of camera. There's another style in here, and I don't know, like it's all random which order I get these in. Okay, so this is the other style of camera. Now this one mounts a little bit differently, and the reason for that is some of these are gonna mount on the side of your trailer. And I think that's potentially this one mounts on the side of your trailer and you can actually connect it to your marker lights so that when your marker lights are on, this camera turns on. So it makes wiring way easier. So my guess is this one mounts on the side. So it looks down the length of your trailer. This guy likely mounts on the back. And the reason for that is because you can adjust the angle of this so that it looks straight down, it looks back a little bit, and then there's little holes on the side to lock it in place. So it's not gonna move once you get it into position. Again, it does have the power cord here. This one, you're gonna always see the power cord, but again, we've got our antenna there, and that is the other style of camera. Now, I should have two more of each of these. If I pull this out, there's one, and then this guy here will be the other one. Now, as I'm pulling this out, the very last one says right on here, if, you need an adapter for Furion pre-wired mount and you purchase this order from seller Vunoa. That's the guys that I got this from and that's the ones that I recommend that you guys get it from. So the answer would be yes to this question. Please check the online manual and send us an email including your order number and what you need. You will get an adapter for Furion pre-wired mount, global tech support and customer service, Vonoa at outlook.com. Calm. Now, I do have the Furion pre-wired mount, and I kind of actually thought that it was in here, but it doesn't look like it is. So I will be reaching out to the seller to see if I can get that Furion mount. And all that's gonna do, see this guy, you can attach and screw onto your trailer anywhere you like, but that Furion mount has this special way that it clips on to make it all kind of seamless and fully integrated. So I do want to explore that and we will cover that on the install video. Again, this is not an install video. This is just an exploring what's in the box and what's available 
And we're at the part now where I try to power this system up and see how good it works. So give me one second, I'm gonna find a power bar. Two hours later. Now I have excellent news for you guys. I was able to find an old router power supply that delivers 12 volts and it seems to be enough to get the monitor to turn on. Now I can't see it very well, but you guys can. And now it's time to plug in a camera and see what happens. So we'll plug in our first camera. Now again, I believe these cameras are for looking down the side and we'll just see, haha, <laughs> look at that. So it is pre-paired. Now I don't have the antenna on this guy, but I can put it on. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that camera, as far as I'm concerned, is upside down. We'll see if there's a way to readjust it, but let's get more plugged in. I'm just gonna see if my power supply puts out enough juice to actually power all these on. There we go. Now, as I suspected, these cameras definitely are supposed to be mounted on the side because when I put them in the side orientation like this is when they're actually kind of up and down like that. I've set the orientation to what I kind of believed to be kind of left, right, forward, reverse, but that doesn't seem to actually be the case. Now I can change the settings here by pushing a button so I can cycle through the cameras. Now, if any camera is not in the orientation that you want, you can go and you guys are getting a great shot of my studio right now. You can see the camera I'm filming with there, but I can go menu and I can pull up the orientation and then if I click OK, this allows me to cycle through and I can do pretty much every orientation. So it doesn't matter how you mount it, you can change it easily here to the orientation you want. Now I think you guys would prefer to have up and down orientation. So then I can just go back out and then you can change the mode as well. So I can do just four cameras together or I can do uh, one, two, three, four, or one, three, two, four. And that's gonna be important. Now the, the one I probably want is like that. We've got camera setup, and you can see which one's camera one, camera two. Um, what else do I got? I've got scan time, I've got auto scan. There's all kinds of options on there. There's also system where I can adjust the brightness. I can turn park lines on or off. Now this is not a touch screen. If you want to change anything, you do have to use these arrow keys down here and go there. And then I'm going to say, I do want the park lines on like that. And then that turns on for the camera that you've got these settings on. Now I don't want the parking lines on camera two. So I'm gonna go back into settings and you these settings are adjustable for each camera. So once you get it set up and installed, you can then say, this is my backup camera and I want some parking lines on there or I don't want parking lines on there. It's all up to you. There's also a record option. If you have an SD card, you can have it record. And the nice thing is you can have it record continuously on a loop or you can have it just record until the memory card's full. Now, personally, for me, I wanna put the biggest memory card in here possible and have it record on a loop. That's gonna be especially handy, especially for me because I'm planning to rent my trailer out and I'm planning to include this system. So this will be set up with like a windshield suction cup mount instead of a hard dash mount. And this guy here, so they can plug it into the cigarette plug and it will just work with the cameras. The cameras will already be on the trailer and they will have the ability to just use this right how it is going to be really really great now we saw that we had the option to adjust the mode and now there's tons of mode options on here and it all depends on what camera you called what so there we go this is the mode that i selected so i have one wide camera I'm probably this is going to be the one i'm going to use where i use a backup cam so i can see what's going on behind me and then the two side cams these guys so that i can see down the length of the trailer this solves so many problems, so many problems. So I'm really excited to actually do the install and test this out, and that's in a different video. So if you've seen all this and you're like, well, I really wanna see it in action, we show all of that in a different video. If this seems like the solution you're looking for, certainly click the link down below and purchase one for yourself. But let's talk about a couple reasons why I picked this one. So number one, I wanted four cameras, and the four camera system is more expensive than the one camera system, but it's not that much more expensive. So having a backup camera by itself 
is handy. No doubt it's handy, but having four cameras where I can see down the length of the trailer, I can see what's forward if I have a forward mounting camera and what's behind me, all selectable on a dash up front. It's just so much more convenient and the peace of mind that it gives you is definitely worth the cost. Now you have the option to go with wired or wireless. Now obviously I went with wireless. Why did I go with wireless? Well because I want the most hassle-free experience possible. Yes I just go through, I set it all up so that it just works. I'm going to wire all of mine off of just the, the marker lights so that when the lights are on the cameras are on. That's easy easy easy. It just goes through the standard trailer plug-in connector and every vehicle will support it. When you go with a wired option, you have to get kind of crazy with the connector at the hitch and it just creates a hassle point. If it's just you towing the trailer and you don't mind that, you can save some money. But keep in mind, you've got to figure out how to run all your wires and do all of that. And it's just so much hassle when the wireless range on these are long enough to cover even the longest trailers. Now our trailer is about 30 feet long, so we won't have too much trouble with range, but when you get to the 35, 40 footers, you may start to experience some dropout, especially if you've got a long tow rig and there's a lot of interference. But we don't know that yet. We're gonna try it out once the install is complete. Keep in mind, if you are interested in this product, I will put a link in the description where you can get it from our Amazon affiliate link. It does help us out a little bit. You don't pay anything extra for it, but it does give us a little bit of a kickback for letting you guys know about it. And I just wanna be honest about that. If you guys have questions about this system, put them down in the comments below. I try to answer all of the questions that I get and I'd be as helpful as possible. If the questions warrant another video, I'll just make another video so we can explore this system together and provide my honest and real feedback. If there are other products for an RV do you think we should review, let us know. I have more products already on the way that are going to be covered in this channel already. We are kitting out our trailer to be the ultimate getaway glamping setup. We are not compromising on quality and we are getting the best that we can get to kit this trailer out to be the most comfortable home away from home possible. And we're bringing you guys on that journey with us. We will show you everything that we do to make that trailer work as well as it does. Now you guys have heard us say already that we have two of these. We have the one that we just unboxed and we have one sitting in a box still that has not been unboxed. This one is going to be given away in a future video, not this video, in a future video to one of you subscribers. The way that you will win is simple. You just have to be a subscriber and be active on this channel. How do you show that you're active? You comment on videos. If you have a question, post your comment. If you have a comment, post your comment. All we do is just go back and see which subscribers have commented on videos and we randomly pick one to win a giveaway item. And it could be this, it could be other giveaway items. So make sure that you stay active in the community. I want to help out the community. If you're on this channel, you're the ones I wanna help out. I don't wanna have just people randomly coming here because there's a giveaway. I wanna make sure that you guys, the ones who watch the videos actually get the stuff. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.